Design is everything, darling. From clothes to architecture to everyday household gadgets, good design can turn almost anything from practical to pleasurable, such as a humble vacuum. For most, it's simply a machine of necessity, a thorny hurdle between themselves and a clean, comfortable home. But then Dyson came along and changed the game. By pumping an extraordinary amount of resources into research and development, they practically reinvented the vacuum cleaner and elevated a cleaning device to almost cult-like status. Despite being eye-wateringly expensive, Dyson's reputation of pristine design is so strong that rather than being a turnoff, their products are aspirational. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Clever design consistently changes how we think about the world around us. Take the gamification of fitness, for example. From the Apple Watch to the Fitbit, fitness trackers have become a huge market because they've managed to reframe how we think about exercise. It's not just about health, it's the ability to look at beautifully presented data and fulfill daily goals. A little device with some smart sensors and pretty graphs has changed how a generation gets moving, all because someone designed something that made the experience more enjoyable. Design is where push comes to shove, and every part of your business reflects back on itself. It doesn't matter how slick your marketing is if your product has a rubbish design. And it's not good enough to have a well-designed product if your logo looks more clip art than professional. Creating pleasure is a step far beyond making something good. It's tweaking and refining every tiny detail until it works better than you knew it could, until it changes the entire game of what it means to do that activity. The devil is in the details, but then again, so is God. So design something that takes us to church. <laughs>